so in this video we're going to do that again print that pattern so one of that pattern here we're going to do that i'll select that so in this one given again that row number we need to take from user at runtime and then we need to print that similar to pattern to this one it's a start with one two three and it goes on how many rows so it will be in the same way it's going to display that so similarly i use that since we need to use two loop so i use that i and j so this time i have different value so now we'll go that and look into the runtime then we'll come back and here we'll try to understand that how it's going to work so so now first thing we need to take that value So here, enter the number of rows, and as we know, since it's going to return that string value, so we need to convert to string. So I converted. So first part is now done. So we have done it now. So we get to know how many number of rows. So now after this, we need to do that loop. So now we will start that. Where I Range and 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 then inside that we need one more loop so that it can range from there to there. So see that intelligence is helping me how to write down all those things. So I start with one, and then I will go with i plus two, and then we will. Print it out. Print. Oh. Print up J, and then I'm going to put that in. Just to blank. Oh. Now till here I will run once, and then I will write down one more. Since we need one more print statement, and that will come to that outside of this one to create that new line. So now I will go ahead and run it, and then I will explain that code. So now I got it. If I put that four, so we got that one, two, three, and four. So now similarly, now I will try to understand that how it's going to work. So what we trying to do first, we taking that number of rows, how many we need, then we putting that loop. So it's going to start with that zero, and it will go till this one. So now inside that, so first time it will be zero, then J we going to start with one and reason behind that since if we go to our code we need to print with G one not with the zero suppose if it's need to start with zero and this need to be zero and one this need to be zero one and two then what only one change we need to do we need to start with zero and then we need to do plus one and let hope so this will work. So now number of rows, so I will enter four. So see now we got that same output. What we need to take it here. So I hope you understand that how it's going to work. So similarly, if I come to here, as we know that since its last digit will be in range, it's not going to calculate. So if we do in the similar way, then it's going to work. So thank you.